yours on? Yes, mine's rolling right now. Oh know. my god, we're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the light! I just turned off everything. Well, hello okay. everyone. I am the Turtle Girl. This is Dean. Dean, do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Dean. The Turtle Girl is visiting me. I've never met her before. Have you met me? No. no. So, would you like to tell us about your tank that you have here? This tank? So, I was telling you a little bit earlier, all the fish in this tank are from Peru from two different collecting trips. The lungfish in the back, the great big Ely looking thing, um, was from the trip we took two years ago on the big river. And the, um, what are those things called? Farallelas. Farallelas, yeah, those things. Those are from the same, same locations we got the lungfish, all in one net. And these uh, monk tetras are from the trip we took this last summer with Corey from Aquarium Co-op. I'm hiding off camera. <laughs> <laughs> was it hard to catch these things, or was it like? Well, tell us about your trip to Peru. <laughs> the um, the lungfish has a really interesting story because we were seining in a dried up or a dried in lake. I forget the correct word for it, but there's a word for it. And we had decided to sain this area that had some vegetation. So we pulled the sain around this vegetation, and we have to go inside and literally throw all the vegetation out. And the vegetation is literally full of spiders and ants and other bugs that are biting you this whole time. It happened to be the only day that I decided to wear short sleeves and I zipped off the river pants. So I had boots to here, shorts to here, and bug bites on all my skin. And then I realized the bug bites that I was getting on my skin were these little tiny water beetles. And so I'm like slapping them away and then all of a sudden I realize oh, they're inside my boots too. So we were getting bit to death and so we get this seine and it gets get closer and closer and pretty soon you have about a 10 foot circle. And as you get the seine closer, you can start pulling fish out. I, what I learned earlier is when you're pulling those fish out, just don't start grabbing. Because the catfish type fish have spines that will literally make you bleed. So as we're seining, we get this sane out of water. Oh, and a couple scary. times, a couple times I had seen this little eely thing, but we didn't know what it was. And it was fast or, or it would disappear in the sane. And one of the things one of the persons on the trip was looking for was an electric eel. And I'm thinking, maybe that's an electric eel. Maybe it wouldn't be wise to just reach in there and grab it, you know? Oh, why not? So eventually, it got down to where I saw it, got a hold of it. As soon as I got it in my hand, I realized it's not an electric eel. And the appendages on the lungfish are like little little feet. And so you can kind of tell. It was, it was a lungfish. It was a baby lungfish. It was about five and a half inches long when I found it. Really? Yeah, that and now like, it's, I think it's about 18 to 20 inches now. That is so cool. Yeah, and so in, cool. in that same same, I also got the Farawellas, the, the four of them in there. So I just decided to put them together. The Tetras were in addition this year, and they might have to go. Why? Uh, well, when we get to the feeding, you'll see that the food doesn't often get to the lungfish. So they're, they're a bit aggressive, so they might have to go in a tank by themselves. Now, there was this thing, when I got this lungfish, first thing I did, we get back to the boat, you know, we, we put him away, and we had a few minutes of internet where I made a message to Corey of Aquarium Co-op, hey, do you need a lungfish for a store mascot? <laughs> He's like, what would I do with a lungfish? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's, this is so a true hilarious. story. I'm back in the boat because I wasn't sure I wanted to bring him home. And I'm thinking, if I do bring it home, I want to make sure it has a long-term long -term care. So someday, we might see it in with the puffer up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> would that even work? Yeah, they would get along. Dean, Dean promised me that he's a lover, not a hater. <laughs> exactly. You know, I, I don't know if I'm agreeing to that yet. Well, we thought that he would attack the Tetris when they were asleep at night. Doesn't happen. He he. The lungfish. I don't see it going after anything live. It's. I think in nature, they eat what they find on the bottom. They're an opportunistic eater. If there was a fish that was maybe dying, 
it would probably eat it. I don't see it actually going after any fish. So they're generally just slow moving then? Or? Yeah. Uh, never. I, I think the firewellas can move faster than the longfish can. So cute. <laughs> it's, no! it's, it's so prehistoric, actually. Oh, I thought you. What did you say? I said, let's feed him. Oh, I thought you said, let's eat it. I thought you said, let's eat it. Let's eat it. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta reposition the camera. You ready? Okay, so I'm gonna put some over here first. Try to draw the Tetris over here. So, what are you feeding? These are just cocktail shrimp. Like, stuff that I would normally eat. The idea was to draw the Tetris over there so some of this will hit the bottom. See how they they attack once it's up in the water? They'll, they'll grab one off the bottom. Oh my gosh, um, look at this thing. So do they mainly like hunt by seeing or smelling or? You think I know that? I have no oh. idea. I think they smell it. Oh my he, he will, he will, he will see the, or he will smell these and turn around. I think they use a sensory course. Or a I think you're right. Is it a refractory right. gland? It's beyond my scope. He, he knows right now that there's food in there. He just doesn't know where exactly. Is it weird that I think it's cute? I really think he's cute. It, it's Jimmy's best friend. Sounds like you found his forever home. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> his little face is so dumb. So if you get a close-up when he grabs oh, us and eats it. it. There he comes. He's going to suck it in. Oh, right there he's sucking it. Now, he'll suck oh, it in. Look at that. But he's not going to swallow that. He's going to chew it, spit it out, and he'll form it kind of into a tube. So it goes down. And then, it, then he'll swallow it. And he will do this with an algae Oh my pellet. gosh, I see that. With an algae what? pellet. He'll smash it up, spit it out, smash it up, spit it out, and then all of a sudden it'll just all go down. Oh, Look at him go. See, it's coming back out? Yeah. He's so prehistoric. <laughs> so gross. Not <laughs> gross. It's adorable. His little face, oh my gosh. Yeah. There you go, spitting it out again.